Kyle Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing here, and welcome to part one of Operation Going Black. We just got our hands on this 2008 Road King, which came in the classic black and chrome. This bike is gorgeous the way it sits, but with this operation, we're planning on taking some of the key chrome accessories, blacking them out, giving this bike a young, youthful look. Last week we introduced you to Lee Anderson, who's going to be helping with this build. KQ is going to come down and give us a hand as well. But today I'm going to start this process by showing you one of the most often swapped out items, and that is the handlebar grips. Today we're going to be installing the throttle by wire black ISO grips from Curry Aachen. This kit comes with the grips, the glue, and a comprehensive set of instructions. Now this particular installation is almost identical for all of the Harley Davidson throttle by wire motorcycles. Whether it be a black grip, chrome grip, widow grip, it doesn't matter. The installation is the same. Now for those of you who have never messed with the grips that are now throttled by wire, you will find that it is extremely easy to swap these out. Even easier than the old cable method. Now before we begin, there's a couple key tools that you might need to get a hold of. Some silicone for slipping the old grip off. Some parts cleaner for cleaning up the glue that might be left on the clutch side after removing the stock grip. A Torx wrench, possibly some hex keys, and maybe even some combination wrenches. Super simple tools in order to get this job done. So come on in close and take a look as we modify the grips on this Harley Davidson Road King. On the throttle side here, we're going to start by removing the torque screws. One here at the top and another here at the bottom. Once those are removed, we're going to separate this housing. But before we do that, we're going to have to loosen the front of this clamp just a little bit. With that housing separated, we can now slide the grip off the end of the bar. Now make sure you grab the correct grip. Go ahead and match up the next here and make sure you have the correct grip in hand. You're then going to slide this on so that the splines attach in the correct position. And check to make sure you have throttle response. For a lot of people, throttle by wire can sound scary, but as you just saw, swapping out the throttle side of the throttle by wire is extremely simple. Now that we can check and see that we have good throttle response, we can now jump over to the left hand side and tackle the clutch grip. We're going to have a screw here underneath the housing. We're then going to come up top here, remove the top screw, and just as we did on the other side, we're going to go ahead and loosen the housing here so that everything moves around. We're now going to separate our housing here, which will allow us to get to this grip. Now there are lots and lots of different ways to remove the stock grip from the side without taking a razor blade and cutting it off the bar. What I like to do is I like to take a screwdriver, come in here, and try to get in between the grip and the bar itself. Once I get the screwdriver worked at least three quarters of the way up the grip, I'm now going to take some silicone lubricant or WD-40, and I'm going to slide this all the way up in alongside the screwdriver. I've got a little bit dripping out here. Once I know that I've got lubricant up here, I'm going to go ahead and remove my screwdriver start to work this grip and the grip should slide right off the bar. With the grip off the bar, Kuriakin recommends that you rough the grip surface up with some sandpaper to remove the stock or OEM glue. Once the glue has been removed, we can go ahead and take some parts cleaner and wipe this off so we have a nice, clean, smooth surface. Now I usually test fit the grip before applying glue inside the grip and slipping it on. There's two different ideas to how this grip should look. One would be matching the other grip so that they both look the same while the motorcycle's parked. The other school of thought is this one's going to be slightly angled towards the rider when in the parked position. Why is that? Well, riding down the road, you're going to have the throttle cracked. While well, the throttle's in that half open position where you normally ride, that gives the rider a uniform feel while riding down the road in that cruise position. So now that we've lined these up, we're going to go ahead and pull this grip out and apply our glue. Today we're going to be using the Black Widow glue from Curry Aachen. We're now going to open the glue and we're going to carefully drizzle glue on the inside rubber of this grip. Now take note that you only have about six seconds before this glue sets and if you stop moving the grip that's where it will reside. So now that we have this in the position that we want it we're going to go ahead and press the rubber sleeves here for about 15 seconds. And there you have it, Curry Aachen Throttle by Wire Isogrips in the black version, installed in just minutes. Any of you can do this at home in your own garage. 
Stay tuned for our future episodes where we take other chrome pieces on this motorcycle and transfer them to black in our going black operation. Thank you for watching this ISO grip installation from Cruiser Customizing. Until next time, take care and ride safe.